Wow. You see, that is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Alfred, bro. What? Let's, let's jump on this brand new 46 Invincible and let me take you through it. Ben. Yeah. How'd you get over there, dude? Dude, I'm fast like that. Come over. Dude, wait, wait, hold on a second. I'm fascinated with this. Is this the new 46? This is the new 46, and what you're noticing, especially in the front here, is the new flare and shear line on this boat. Absolutely stunning on the wall. It looks amazing. Dude, this thing is sick. Dude. What's up? That was fast, man. I'm, I need to put my hands on my knees. I got to get some air. <laughs> it's a hot one ne today. Never mind. Let me take off my shoes. Let's get on here. Let's What's up? It. Let's talk about it. So let's go ahead and start off this video with amazingness, right? What is it? What's it called? Okay. So this is our brand new 46 catamaran. And it's a... 46 LOA with a 12 foot beam. But step inside, man. Let me show you more about it. All right. Hole number one, Ben? This is hole number one. We actually completed this boat about three weeks ago. We've been doing performance testing and engineering time on it. Perfect time to bring it to the 2024 Lauderdale Boat Show. So we're here. Let me show you a few of the features inside, if that's let's, cool. Let's start on in the bow where you were standing. Let's do it. So let's see, because this is all new. This is new to me. This is new to the world, right? It Ho is. Hole number one. Hole number one. All new. This boat is decked out. It's got JL audio package for reference. These are 12 inch subs. Two in the bow here. It thumps. It sounds amazing. Obviously, there's plenty of storage all throughout. There's actually three insulated fish boxes on both the port and starboard side of this boat. Um, plenty of room to store your fish, as well as this extended console up front here. Let me show this real quick before I turn around. Dude, you could throw a party up here. Absolutely. I mean, that's like a stage. Absolutely. What we really like about this platform is it's all one level, no steps. You can fight a fish all around the boat. Uh, you're not having to step up and down, and you got the same gunnel height virtually all the way from the bow uh, to the transom here. So I see I see rod holders for days here. I mean, how, so how many, many rod holders? I lost count. How many? How, how many? I mean, how many rods does, can someone have? So on this boat in particular, you can get up upwards of 50 to 60 rod holders if you wish. Well, look, these catamarans, for people that don't know, are really known for diehard fishermen. I mean, in rough conditions, because of that tunnel that we showed earlier, that's what makes this boat just, I mean, I've seen these boats go throughout a haulover and just beat up haulover, which is a rough inlet. Yeah, the, the catamarans really eat up uh, rough conditions. They do well, but, but the technology that's in evolving from some of these uh, power cat manufacturers nowadays, including ourselves, uh, we've done uh, our homework and research and development. We've partnered with Morelli and Melvin, who have actually uh, come in and engineered our patented hole design that excludes some of the ne negative characteristics of what catamarans are known for. Oh, oh, okay, so for for the for the new. Uh buyer or something that might be interested in something like that. What are some of those negative things that they're talking about? You know, uh, sneeze, Okay. how it performs in a following sea, uh, and then also maneuverability, uh, especially high speed turns. Uh, and those are things that are just uh, typically inherent in, in your uh, traditional catamarans. And we took it as a challenge. We spent a year and a half in development time with Morelli and Melvin, who who wrote the book in, in catamaran and catamaran foiling uh, to reduce those features to where it's acceptable and actually make catamarans more recreational uh, and easier to drive, but still have the characteristics and performance in rough sea conditions. And especially with a 12 foot beam, the stability is phenomenal. People ask me, hey, you know, what, what's it like, you know, when you're out there flying kites on a rough day or you're out there, you know, deep dropping. I'll say it's exactly like having a sea keeper on a monohull. Wow. You've got that's, that that's same a big level statement. of stability. That's a big statement, guys. Yeah. A sea keeper is a gyro that essentially leaves 
the boat uh, from from rocking left to right. So I, I remember everybody doesn't know about boating, but they might be interested, and that's why I kind of break it down for them. So Absolutely. tell me a little bit about this area here. Yeah. I saw that you have some storage there. Or like, is that a fish box? Is that? We got a lot of stuff going on here. You know, um, sometimes you're bringing in fish from the bow. You can definitely gaff a fish up here. Say you're on a school of mahi, pulling them in. We've got fresh and saltwater wash down. Uh, wash downs here with a nice management system that you can just coil back in and out. Uh, your hose isn't going to be laying around anywhere. It stows nice, especially when you go run and gun for your next group of mahi or, or tunas. Um, you've got plenty of cooler storage here or just storage in general that's compartmentalized out. Or you can pull these out and just make it one big coffin box where you can put your large tunas. I do like this feature here where you can throw your sandwiches or something up top, have everything cool, and you're not biting into that that really mushy sandwich and that you Yeah, it's not wet and soggy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but then as well, this is a lounger, obviously, integrated armrest. Great for cruising around. You can sit there when you're running, but you still have all this room in the front to fight fish, move around. It's, you know, on the catamaran, it extends its beam pretty much all the way forward. So uh, you've got a lot of width up here. Um, so you can have a dance party if you want. You can lounge in the sun if you want. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, in-floor storage fish boxes underneath your feet, all finished out. Uh, what you'll see is all A-side fiberglass here. Uh, no, no edges or anything. Oh, and there's a, it's a big box too. Massive box. It actually, yeah. it actually comes out. You know, you're not seeing another two or three feet forward. From the the opposite side where I'm standing. Exactly. I'll tell you this rigid light up here on this uh, console on this T-top here. Wow. Yeah. That thing, I mean, what, what do you want to light up the universe? What, what's, what's going on with this? You, you know, um, it's great, especially for docking or running at night. Um, I, it, it lights it up. It's Rigid is a, a great vendor of ours. They do, uh, they've got amazing technology and LED. You turn that thing on, you're going to see anything you want to. We've also got uh, a radar on this boat as well got it rigged out to where it can basically spot a frigate bird from eight miles away so when you're when you're when you're running gunning looking for those birds it's easy to do and it's really easy to see in the helm here because we've got two 24 inch Garmin screens so right now I'm actually maneuvering myself through the back roll so I, I feel very comfortable here so if you're driving in the center this is essentially what you're gonna see um, when once you're you're on plane and you're you know you're moving, how's the visibility on this particular boat? You know, it's it's really great. Um, I was a fan. I ran it for a few hours before the show. Obviously, um, catamarans uh, tend to have minimal bow rise, okay. uh, especially the longer you go. Um, so you're not you're not standing over. You're not on your tippy toes all day getting your calf workout. So it's it's great in that regard. Runs very flat. This is a a stepped, uh, both the, the, the holes are stepped, uh, so they do uh, run very flat. Um, so it's, it's, it's great, actually. Your visibility is wonderful, 360 all the way around the boat. There's nothing So what's, what's up with this helm? Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about the helm <laughs> and the 450s that you guys, you guys got quad 450s on this. Yeah, there's a lot going on with the helm here. You know, we've, we've got our integrated uh, AC system blowing on us right now. Uh, feels feels nice, especially on those hot days. Uh, we've got um, uh, gator step flooring and helm pads here that are, are nice for your cell phone holder to put your cell phone up there, or when you're running, a nice pad. You know, it's 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 rough on you standing all day, so it's like having you know some some uh, Gucci out uh, Skechers or something there that doesn't really wear you out. We've also got our autopilot. Uh, we've got our JL audio control here. We've got two ICOM uh, uh, radios here uh, for multiple channels. Uh, and then we've also got, um, you know, all your controls here inside of your garments. So your garments are going to basically control the, or the majority of the boat. That's exactly right. So, so, all right. Um, 
you said it has a 12 12 what beam how, how much of the it's beam? it's a 12 foot 12 beam, foot yeah. beam so it technically still at the point where it could be tradable that's that's right and that's why it's 12 foot um you know it is a large boat uh, but we wanted to, to engineer this thing so it can move place to ba place and not have to be uh being you know uh, trailer or move to other locations on its own surface so it gives the customer flexibility to to move the boat because we do have a lot of customers that'll fish down south or go north uh, or they'll trailer over to the gulf we still wanted to make that something for them to do so tell me a little bit about these boxes back here um, more more storage or fish boxes over here on the floor more storage so monster fish box here the mamma jam i might call it this is this we is where the plenty, swordfish goes. Yeah, oh my God! Look at this. Plenty of depth here. Um, I look, mean, I'll step in here. I'm I'm not the tallest guy, but I'm six foot, and you know I can get in there. That 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 kind of sound sounded like an indirect dig right there, Ben. <laughs> Us short oh, no. guys right now are saying, "I'm not that tall. I'm six feet. Come on, bro." Well, you know. I'm the runt and the litter in the family. All my, oh. all my mom, or my dad and my mom are all tall. My brother's so you're the one they got picked at. All right, yeah. All right, all right. So, ah. so yeah. tell me what we got back here. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to beat you up anymore. No, man, you're good. So, awesome feature here. More storage, especially for fish, fish ability. Is you got locker storage for all your gear. Let's nice. say you're trolling. Very, very uh, you've nice. got everything there. You can cut baits here in the back. Um, so this is, you know, definitely got some nice creature comforts, but is a hardcore fishing machine. Also, on a hot day, you got to have cold beverages. We've got a massive, massive cooler here with a lot of nice, tasty cold beer. We're gonna have to do some negotiations after this. Uh, we will make something work out. We will it's also rigged out with a chiller plate, so you can keep the ice bottom. longer. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty tricky. So show me where where the bait uh, have fun. Uh, there's two, there, it's like it's like a party for these bait fish now. Look, they, it's, it's like, like a mansion. mansion. All right, we got uh, two uh, 55 gallon wells here in the back, and then a uh, a 75 gallon well in floor here. So the ballyhoo can stay, stay with the ballyhoo, the sardines with the sardines, the pilchards. Exactly. Everybody has their own swimming pool. Exactly. I mean, these bait have been made. I mean, they don't know what's going to happen a little while later, but. Exactly. And, and, and you know, we don't, we don't stop there. Our tuna tubes are rigged out here on this boat, especially for those Gulf guys that are wanting to get after some marlin. We accommodate this as an option. Uh, super clean in the fact that it's got a lid to it. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's always water flowing through there to keep the uh, the bait alive, but it's not flying everywhere all over the engines, which is super trick because these 450Rs are bad to the bone. Uh, speaking about bad to the bone, what are we talking about as far as top speed on this? So top speed, when I took it out the other day, I was able to get 78.5 miles per hour. You're, you're, you need to tell me you just almost hit 80 miles an hour on a 46 foot cat. <laughs> you know, we're just honest, man. Um, we we, we run it and we've got a lot of uh, room for uh, opportunity. Okay. Um, but with it being, you know, two weeks out of the out of the factory we still got a little fine tuning but we're there man it's a clean ride speaking about that some of the guys that are are into them in the market for this type of boat we might want to put a tower on it is that an option certainly certainly i see that we have a console there uh is there anything going on inside the middle of the console yeah inside of the the dual row here yeah yeah there's there's more storage and what i'll point out too is most of the guys running these cats uh, Especially in the Gulf, we're making really long runs. We've mm -hmm. got LeBrock seating with uh, bolsters as well as armrests here. Uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable ride if you're you know, up north going to the canyons or you're in the Gulf and you got a 100 mile run just to get to the fishing grounds. Um, with that, you got a lot of gear. You've got your, your audio everywhere, right? But you've also got additional storage features here. So like if you want to move quick and you're on the side right here, you don't want to get to the to, to the back of the boat, you can just pull it there. Exactly, and, exactly. So what are we talking about price point for something like this, Ben? Yeah, so um, obviously being a semi-custom manufacturer, 
you can range the price, but, but as this boat sits here at the show, uh, it's at $1.1 million, um, but you can build out a boat to be around uh, the mid to lower $900,000 mark, okay. or all the way out to $1.2, $1.3 million. Uh, but this one, as it sits, is right at 1.1, and what, it's really tricked out. What's in here? So, now, you might spend a little bit more time in here because there's plumbed AC, and it's about 68 degrees, but we've got a pump, uh, pumped out head uh, that uh, makes it comfortable with AC, so when you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta be comfortable. Now with catamarans, you don't get as much headroom um, but that's just, uh, you know, one of those things still can hit the restroom in there and it does have gator step flooring. That's uh, actually one of the things that is a game breaker for a lot of people. And you guys went ahead and have a console big enough to at least have a head in there. Yeah. Yeah. We, it's, it's a nice wide console as well. There's a lot of room, you, you know, you could toss your dry bags in there still have room for people to get in there and hit the rest. Ben, room. can you tell them why there's no room there to go lower because of the tunnel? Yeah, yeah, we, we've got the tunnel underneath us. You know, your traditional V-bottom has got all that room underneath in the stringer system that we just unfortunately don't have here. And of course, we want to keep our tunnel height, uh, you know, tall. And the fact that whenever you're, you're iced down, you're fishing ready, your wet weight increases. Now, that's really important in fuel economy to have your tunnel in the back have enough uh, have enough distance above the water. So one, you're not full slapping, right? Uh, that's no, not fun. It's loud. It doesn't it just doesn't seem right. And number two, when you're running, you want both holes out of the water. You don't want any water in that tunnel, or else your fuel economy goes down dramatically. What's the range and what's the fuel capacity on this? So this has got uh, over a, uh, a thousand mile range, and it's got a uh, thousand gallons uh, fuel capacity what? stock where, right out the door. Where is that tank? Where do, where do you guys put that tank? We build them into our stringer system. Oh, um, and, wow. okay. And you basically have uh, both on port and starboard side, um, two tanks each, adding up to 500 gallons each. That is nuts. Yeah. Let me tell so you, you guys. got plenty of range, especially the guys going the fish long distances. Uh, not really a need for any fuel bladders unless you're going really far. So uh, this is the 37. That's correct. That's this the is 30 our 37. Guys, just so you get a perspective of how much bigger this other boat is. Um, Another capable boat, but uh, you're you're not even comparing apples to apples here. Yeah, you know it's it's an amazing boat. Still has the same running surface, a patented running surface that we we now have. Um, uh, but look, you know there's different sizes. Like some people like a smaller boat; they're not going as far, or you know they just prefer that. Um, so we we've actually got four different catamaran sizes at this point. We've got a 35 a 37, a 40, and now the 46, but it gets better than this. No. We, we listen to the market, okay, and this is really important, and, and you know, and I fall in lines with this. I, I don't live on the water, I trailer, right? Uh, I can't have such a large vessel. We're coming out with a 33-foot catamaran, dedi oh, wow. dedicated twin engine, wow. better price point, and with a beam that is 10 foot three. So you can tow that with your F-250. You can tow that uh, even with, you know, now uh, the, the newer uh, uh, mid-sized uh, pickup trucks. And when's that going to come out? So we're hoping to have this thing out uh, this time next year. Um, we Incredible. hope to have it by Palm Beach next year. Well, Ben, let them know where they can go online to find out more information on, on, uh, on Invincible so yeah. they can go ahead and maybe check out your website or your socials and go from there. Yeah, please follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Invincible Boats. Just look us up, uh, you know, Give us a like, comment. We're really active there. Um, but also go to invincibleboats.com. Check out all our lineup. Uh, there's plenty of contact us forms to fill out. If you want any information, we're more than happy to uh, to get you anything you need. Hey, well, listen, we're gonna have to go fishing on this. I'm not just gonna do a sea trial. I'm gonna have to go fishing on all this right. one. Let's That's make it happen. Point. That'll Let's be the next it. video. Okay. All right, Let's guys. Invincible 46. Don't forget to check out the 37 as well, Ben. Thank you. I see you're famous over here, dude. dude <laughs> keep on doing videos. Keep on doing videos. I'm out of here. Alpha Montana, guys. At the show. We're out of here.